everybody welcome back to my channel i'm so excited guys the fry life has new merch on their store okay i'm gonna try to get through this without crying it's really hard for me to talk about peter and mary and not cry I can't you can oh you don't have to though i'm not crying yet I know. I know. so sweet my bush um well, I just wanted to um, brag a little bit about our Mary. Our Mary Fry um, is like not a professionally trained artist, but she's really talented. Um, as far as I know, I think she just taught herself. I think she's self-taught. Um, she, as far as I know from her, <laughs> she started watercolor painting just one time she was in the hospital i think we've talked about her watercolors before on the different uh things that we've hauled and i'm really trying to hold this together um this time that we're all going through in the world right now is really giving me a whole another level of appreciation for this wonderful young lady because she has lived probably if you added them all up together, like years of her life in self-quarantine, in self-isolation because of her medical condition. <sighs> she is extremely Im immunocompromised <laughs> because of the cystic fibrosis. And um, if anybody is sick, they can't come by her. If she's not feeling well, she doesn't go out. Um, she's prone to get bacterial infections from the bacteria that grows inside of her lungs. Um, she can't be around other people with her same condition because they can make each other extremely sick when they share bacteria, which is so, that that's tough alone. I know she has social media connections and she's friends and they talk and that kind of thing, but to not be able to just give another plus size woman a hug in like from where I am just seems like uh, the hardest part like that sense of camaraderie that you get when someone else is in your shoes and you talk about all the things that going through and I'm not trying to compare being plus size to having cystic fibrosis by any stretch of the imagination but I just feel for her now with all of this we're going through with the social isol isolation um, the social distancing and the self isolation and the self um, self imposed quarantines that we're all doing, whatever you want to call it in your house, um, that is so much of the life that she's lived already, and it makes me appreciate her on a whole different level. She has taken her and Peter have taken some of her beautiful watercolors and created them on one of my favorite collectibles. So, if you know me, you know I have an affinity for coffee mugs and certain types of coffee mugs especially. I do like I do like really coffee mugs that speak to me, but I love specifically like white straight sides, a big handle, flat bottom. Those are the the kind of coffee mugs that I like. The other thing that her and I have in common is we love to bird watch out of our own home windows, whether we're feeling good or not, or feeling less than and feeling lost, feeling alone. When you see a little bird come to the bird feeder and you can't be around other people, or there's no other people to be around. I don't know about for her, but for me, it makes me feel a lot less alone. And I know that she loves our little feathered friends as well. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see my birds there sometimes. Um, they're faster than I am with the camera. <laughs> a lot of times I'll be like, oh, get the camera, too late. <laughs> so um, I ordered four of her new coffee mugs. She has more than four in the collection. Um, and I hope, Oh, this, I have to open this. I'm sorry. I thought I had opened all the tape before I came to the table. I hope that they're not sold out. and You guys could go and see if you have any sort of um, immunocompromised situation. Um, Peter has found a manufacturer that has 
a very high standard of uh, protocol that makes sure that they're, you know, clean, germ-free, that type of situation. They're never, um, Mary and Peter never hold these. So if you do have cystic fibrosis, you don't have to worry about Mary's particular bacteria being on them, which is wonderful. But the fact that we're all stuck inside, some people get to work, some people get to work from home, uh, but the, the, this helps support their channel. Um, and you guys know from me that everything that's going on with YouTube, it really has affected tons of uh, creators out there. So I like to do whatever I can to support them. And when they came out with these, I was for sure buying them. So I'm gonna start. So here's what it looks like. They're in a really packaged well box. Um, I pulled out one of my favorites first. So there is the Blue Jay. And I'll tell you the other thing that I love about this. So you guys know me and my collectible mugs, straight sides, flat bottom, it's white. It's got this handle and you get all four fingers in, which is such a plus. But one of the things that I feel like is missing on so many designer mugs is that that bird is on both sides. So whether you're a righty or a lefty, the people around you get to enjoy this bird as much as you. Um, she has done beautiful work. This is her blue jay. And each one is uh, signed with her, um, I'm sorry, her signature is on each print and the print is on both sides of the mug. So that's the blue jay. They are 11 ounce mugs. Um, these would actually be perfect for the way Jim likes his tea. Um, or, I mean, I drink coffee out of them. That's fine, but I just also, <laughs> you know, the the Ray Dunn mugs are just a little too big for Jim's tea. He kind of feels like it's, you know, it takes a long time to sip to get to the tea. So I think these would be perfect. Do you know every time you see a cardinal in your yard, that means that somebody in heaven is thinking of you? Um, so this, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> This makes me think of so many of my family that is no longer with us because um, we had Cardinals in uh, New York and I kind of, after somebody would go to their heavenly home, then I would see the Cardinals and know that they were visiting for a time. So this beautiful Cardinal is absolutely gorgeous. She does this all with watercolors and of course it's on both sides. And it's exquisite. It doesn't, it feels like it's under glaze. And I'm not 100% sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, but sometimes they print on top of, like it's a printed sticker on top of the glaze. This looks like it's painted on the ceramic under the glaze. Um, so it looks, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Okay. Give me a second. You gonna order that sweatshirt now? <laughs> what sweatshirt? <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. Go. Do you have your shirt on? What are you wearing? This is plain gray. Oh, okay. Okay, I've composed myself. So this next one is an eyebrowed thresh. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful and I love his little face and his little blue head and his little brown body. He's so pretty. Again, he's on both sides and I just wanna drink out of it. Like, I'll wash him first. And this one has the best name and you had to get it, but it's called the Happy Junko. I think there's another name for it, um, but this one is I want to say out of her artistic works, this is my favorite painting of a bird. Does that make sense? I love all of these birds and I love her beautiful painting job, but this one to me is like another level, okay? And he is so cute. And the name makes me happy. This bird makes me so happy. His little bill, his little mask that he's wearing, of course he's on both sides. And they are absolutely, 
they're beautiful. And even though they were never in her house, <laughs> they bring her into mine. They bring her a little closer to me, which I really love. So that's everything from this really quick uh, Fry Life haul. I wanted to share these mugs with you. Um, we looked up on the website before we started this video and they're all still available. They are all dishwasher and microwave safe, which is so important. You know, it's mug cake time. Do you know what I'm saying? You're stuck in the house. You do like some mug cakes. But um, above everything, they are, they not only go to help support Mary and Peter and their channel with Ollie and Harry, but 10% of all the proceeds go to cystic fibrosis, cystic fibrosis research. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so <laughs> you said no? <laughs> no thank you. So um, if you are interested, I'm gonna link the store and the mugs in the description box down below. And um, if you do pop over to their channel, which I'm gonna link that down below too, tell them I sent you, tell them I said hi. Um, <laughs> and as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Aren't you proud of me? I didn't cry. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Peter.